Yeah, I can hear them out loud. Let me show some of the sounds. Mm. Well, welcome to the um, second episode. And I'm trying to fight off some of these phantoms. But, um, so um, the reason I chose this mushroom island was because there's no other mob spawning in this island. But it uh, turns out uh, phantoms spawn the way. <laughs> that caught me by surprise. <laughs> and I knew they were being added in I think Minecraft 1.19. But um, I'm just quickly, quickly blocking myself in. See if I can actually attack them from here. Uh, I don't really see them. Okay, this is bad. The soundtrack doesn't fit at all. Um, let me release some of the music. Uh, that way I can actually hear. <coughs> all right. Um, okay, let's actually go out and see what happens. Phantom! No Phantom! Crap. Uh, I think they're just uh, hitting sailing over here. So I think it might be even easy, be easy if I... Um, if I just simply... Uh, I don't want to break these blocks over here. The, these blocks cannot be replaced. Um, unless you have like something like Silk, silk Touch. Alright, I'm just gonna go out and be brave about it. Fuck, no, never mind. Um, oh, fuck no. Jesus, look at that phantom. Okay, uh, right, I guess I'm stuck here till, till the morning. Um, I was thinking of actually creating a mine here, but um, I don't know why I didn't do that. Um, I wanted this space for storage. Um, I guess I'm stuck here till the morning. Be right back. Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Um, yeah, um, so welcome to a new episode of uh, the Witness Minecraft series, where I attempt to uh, rebuild the the island from Witness. Um, I'm just clicking out this diorite. I know, I know, Iskal hates it, so I'm just gonna replace it with andesite. No. Anyways, um, come on. Um, yeah. So in this episode, um. I'm gonna attempt to actually start working on the actual island. Um, so far, what I've been doing is I'm just been trying to set up my base, and you know, um, where I'm gonna be settling down. But haven't I haven't actually started working on anything related to uh, the business game, anything at all, really. I've been talking about it, but haven't done anything at all uh, at this point. Um, yeah, I don't see any phantoms um, right now, so that's good. Um, as I mentioned, um, this whole part of the northern side of this whole island, um, it's gonna be, hmm, I don't know. I haven't thought of thought this through, have I? Because if I let's actually pause this map for a bit. Uh, let me grab the uh, the map from the witness. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is the witness map uh, from courtesy from IGN. Thanks, IGN. Um, so what I was envisioning right um, initially was that I was gonna settle down in the entry area and you know um, then build my way through. But from the looks of it, since I'm since I'm actually facing towards uh, let's see which direction I'm facing. So this direction that that direction is actually the north. Um, you can see it um, in over there. It says north there. Um, so which means that, um, which means that I'm actually somewhere here, um, the, towards the shady trees, even near the shipwreck, I'd say. Um, so this is like the more northern point of the island. Sorry guys, I had a call, I had to post the video. Anyways, uh, what I was saying, um, is that, um, if we go back to the map again, 
Um, so I'm pretty much settled somewhere here, uh, which is coincidentally um, turns out to be all right because um, if you look at, uh, oops, if you look at where I, where I actually set, set up my actual uh, mining is just happens to be where the query is. So it turns out actually fine. So we're just walking through the, um, so you can think of this area as the, um, where the, the symmetry, the glass factory is. So we're just walking towards the, um, walking pretty much at the inside of the query. And this is, uh, this could be where the, um, this is where the uh, the query is. Um, so this is actually mine that I've set up. Um, it's just um, down here. If you got, if I actually go down, you can see the I've created like a huge drop shaft there. Oh, actually, that reminds me that I actually need to smelt my smelt my um, smelt my iron. Um, so all right, so let's let's actually have a chat. Um, so I can't get out of this. Right. Hey, all right. Um, so I'm still having my skin. My Minecraft skin with the team. Hello. So how have you guys been? Um been pretty good. I uh, got a plan still. Um it's working towards that plan. It's gonna take a while. But it'll get there. So I'm actually recording this video just after I've recorded my first video. And I watched it um yesterday and it took a while to render. And turns out I'm just rendering this almost in a 4K resolution. So that's good. Uh, I'm I'll probably downscale it on 2080 just to upload it and my trees are growing anyway so what I was saying um, I was just here to grab my iron to make a bucket um, yeah so as I, as I was saying um, oh I got a fine let me smell the rest um, as I was saying so this part of the island wouldn't be the start part of the island actually this would probably be the um, if I can bring up the I bring up a map, it's probably gonna end up being the part of the query. So, um, so as I said, as I just showed you, uh, you're gonna be walking down the symmetry island. Um, there's gonna be a desert towards um, that direction, and we're gonna be mining or having the query on that direction. So it turns out fine, like it's away. Um, anyways, um, I actually leave left this left this um mushroom arch as is you might have noticed that i cleared all the all the mushrooms off um there's more to work, more work to be done but um most of the mushrooms are sort of cleared from this other part of the island um which reminds me to talk you guys through the actual map for this minecraft series um let's talk about that in next in the next clip um welcome back um yeah so what i want to show you right now is the the official mine okay something's wrong with my mouse um the actual mine atlas for this seed um so this is the same seed from the hermit carl series um thanks for xima for giving me that seed um so that's the this is the island and the, that's the spawn this is where we initially started off um as you can see it's a relatively small island and this island happens to be just the perfect size for the witness island um, let's actually compare the uh, two islands side by side. Um, so I can actually make out. Um, I can make the. I can make. Um, uh, I can actually scale the actual build depending on what scale I want to make the building. But I'm trying to make the whole island in a one-to-one -one scale. Um, what's the scale here? Um, it just seems to be. What are we looking at? Is one pixel is one block? Is that is that correct? I don't know. Um, could be more than just one block. I need to double check. But um, it's more of a yeah. It's about you can see that I'm moving about. Yeah, it looks like one block is one pixel. Hmm. I don't know. I need to take a look at that. But um, what I want to actually show you guys is that um, this actual ch slang chunks everywhere. And um, if I'm gonna actually build a slunk farm, um, sorry, what am I saying? Slunk, not slunk, a slime chunk farm. Um, that's gonna be, um, this is the one I'm actually looking for. Um, you can see there's a, like a, almost like nine by nine arrangement here. So that's um, what, seven slime chunks, um, sorry, six slime chunks arranged uh, next to each other. 
um so you can actually um like if get in the middle and get um slimes from all these quadrants um similar to what the impulse is we built uh, for a slime farm um i might i might not even need a slime farm but if i do need one that's where i'm gonna build it either there or, or actually on the slime uh, on the actual home spawn here another good candidate is over here where you got like four but apart from that there's nothing nearby in the in the vicinity um another one i want to show you guys is the there's an actual ocean monument down here uh, which i need to conquer in order to get that uh, green um prismarine blocks um which are going to be used heavily in my builds and yeah so that's that's that um there's no other desert temples nearby um this one here and there but um it's quite far away <sighs> not really i guess but um anyways um i, I might if i'm gonna make a witch farm uh, the nearest witch hunt is a fit, bit far away as well so um how about jungle i know there's a jungle here do we got any temples in that yeah we do we got two j uh, jungle temples there and one here and few there uh, jungle temples are not that useful really and uh, there's just loot there i might explore but um i don't know i don't really want to explore at this point um as i previously mentioned i want to have i want, I want to make the least amount of exploration possible for this series uh, I, i'm going to make sure all the all the resources required to you know pull this off is found within the same boundaries of this island for those blocks that's like sand for instance i might move um i might go to a nearby desert like here maybe but uh apart from that i want to stick into stick into this boundary mouse wasn't been captured so i was just pointing at stuff and you weren't really seeing the uh the mouse um yeah the the one i want to actually show you again was the uh, slime chunk over here sorry not there or there that that's almost like a nine by nine slunk chunk there, um, which I might use. And the um, the witch hunt is over there, that direction. Let me turn off the slump chunks, and the the desert mountain. Oh, sorry, the desert temples and the jungle temples are right nearby. So if I ever wanted any of those resources or even the biome specific blocks, I would go to either one of those um biomes. But as I said again and again, um, I want to try to just stay put um in this region um that's it i'm willing to break those rules um because that's not really a house for hard fast rule with minecraft you can go outside of the boundaries but what i want is to actually rebuild um the island from the local resources local resource to blocks pretty much um that's it um i just um crafted myself a, a new iron axe and I'm just about to chop this down and it just swoops right through. Um yeah, that feels good. Um I was I was using a stone axe and it took a while to actually clear this up. I um, I imagine the uh, the diamond axe, it's even faster. Oh that's it. Here's a trick. Um if you're making a mine all the way down and if you don't want to take any fall damage, um see if i'm getting fall damage like that um if you want to avoid that what you could do is you can um on the bottom on the very bottom of this um drop shaft uh, what you could do is you could just simply um place the i don't actually have that uh, let me actually quickly make that for you guys um uh, let me actually use the the white wood um sorry guys i'm not really prepared for for this demo Da 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 da. Doop. Let me put in a thing, and what you could do is you can just simply create a um, what do you call it? Um, just a, a chest, and you can just chuck it in there. And that's not that's not gonna um avoid all the fall damage. But what you could do is you can you can put in some water inside of the you can waterlog that block. And uh, what's good about this uh, compared to just water by itself is that. Uh, unlike water, it's it's not gonna make you submerged in that block. Uh, it's gonna avoid all the wood or fall damage, but at the same time, uh, not make you dip down into the block, so you can actually walk out, walk out of that. So, I think that's pretty cool. And you can also stuff um store your stuff in there. So 
it's a win-win situation <laughs> Did you know that you can actually activate redstone simply by just hitting on it with your pickaxe it'll give you red particles and some light level um yeah so i'm actually i was just making a video about this earlier and just found some redstone um you need an iron pickaxe for that and that's my first redstone block ever mine in this series um, I don't imagine being um, I don't imagine using this much but uh I would like to though we could make some cool red, redstone contraptions even machines or farms that could sort of churn out um, some of the items actually um I actually want to make that super smelter um the cup fan one two eight one two three one to eight. I can't really remember the number. Cop fan actually made it in his uh, Minecraft series in season six. Um, that super smelter was super good. Um, it smells things within seconds. You can just throw in like a whole whole chest full of stuff to smelt, and it'll smelt within five seconds. I'm just exaggerating. It's really more like ten seconds, but you get what I mean. Um, uh, I, I have some I have ideas for improvement but uh, um, all together or uh, either way but I'm, I'm thinking actually I'm thinking of actually making that um, that's one of the redstone contraptions I'm thinking of making um, that's actually gonna be useful unlike uh, any sort of a slump chunk I'm sorry slum no it's not slum it's just slime chunk farms yeah I don't see any useful for that right now but uh, more redstone um, if I'm actually going to be making uh, any sort of a farm, my first priority would be that. Uh, would be that. Um, yeah. Um, uh, actually, I might even make a uh, a wood farm as to start off because that's more important because you're going to need a lot of wood. But my second priority would be to make a. Uh, actually, now that I think about it. I might even make a, a kelp farm because I need a lot of fuel for my furnace uh, furnace farm. Ooh, that's trippy. Um, yeah, so I might start off with a, um, a tree farm and then make a, a kelp farm and then make uh, the furnace, the super smelter. I don't know. I'll have to see how it goes. Um, be right back. Yep. Bad idea. I guess it's time to stop mining and head off to the surface. This is my favorite soundtrack from the game. So calm. Yeah, enough about the uh, soundtrack. Anyways, um, what I was saying is that um, I've actually cleared all the mushrooms from this part of the uh, this part of the island, except for those three. We can't take them off. It's so artistic. It means we're making progress. It's like a gentle curve up sort of like a graph projecting our success i guess um yeah so um as i previously mentioned so since you're facing the um the north direction uh over here um which means we are essentially creating parts of the query uh, somewhere there and this is pretty much the uh let me actually pull up the, pull up the map um we basically creating this bit over here so we are in the shady trees and they're part of the curry and to the left of us is the um, the actual um, sorry this direction that's where the uh, the desert's gonna show up um, there's gonna be a lot of um, I guess filling in um, because this island is not exactly the same shape as 
with the island for witness but um, nevertheless we can still do it I believe it we can I believe that we can cool um, for the rest of the video I actually want to show you um, the actual game the witness um, I didn't actually leave that block I need to get rid of that block um, I want to actually show you the actual game the witness and see how show you guys how um, what my actual vision is all right so um, this is the game I was talking about I'm so excited to play this game again it's been a while since I played I can't even look back in this game um yeah so this game changed my mind it changed how I witness things in in life and I'm forever in debt. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to I'm speaking to metaphorically, but um, this game really did change my perspective of things, and um, and I'm gonna sort of pay homage to this game, and the way I've decided to pay homage is by, you know, recreating this beautiful game from scratch in Minecraft. I'm not sure how in how much detail I can actually show in Minecraft but I want to the anyway um yeah so this is witness um so in this game all you do is that you just simply draw draw lines you draw lines from from the beginning like over here to the end which is indicated on the top right there and you unlock stuff um i wanna i wanna have a spoiler warning this is kind of um this is kind of counterintuitive but i don't want you guys to watch my series if you haven't played this game um well let's not put that way uh, i don't want you guys to watch this part of the video if you haven't seen or if you haven't played this game to yourself i would highly encourage you guys to not watch this part of the video any more than you need to from this point onwards i'm actually dropping frames sorry i need to i need to do um i think i'll have to do l lower resolution next time maybe drop down one sampling i'm not sure if that's going to improve but what i'm saying is that um if, if you haven't played this game or if you haven't yeah if you haven't played this game i encourage you guys don't watch this part of the video Please don't. Um, I highly encourage you guys to play through the whole whole game before watching it and the rest of this video. But for the in, as far as the Minecraft series goes, I'm not going to be looking and uh, digging deep into any of the actual puzzles, uh, really at all. Um, and there's a reason for it. Um, there's a huge spoiler. Um, I don't know. Is it a spoiler if I say it's a spoiler? Uh, I don't know. There's gonna be a huge spoiler in this game, and I don't want to spoil it for you guys. And I want you to find that out, you guys. I'll find that out yourselves. And it's 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 better than what you call. It's ten times better than better than an M Night M Night Shyamalan twist. If you guys know what that means, um, it's nowhere near a M Night M Night M Night Shyamalan twist. Um, if I can say that out loud. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, so don't watch this part of the video. I'll include a. If I'm if I'm ever gonna be talking about the witness in this video series, that'll always be towards the end of the video. So if you want to avoid it, you can. You can just simply don't watch the last bits of the video. And um, yeah, I'm gonna continue completing the rest of the uh, rest of the puzzles for in this re in this section, because I wanna actually wanna proceed through the, uh, the gate there in order to for me for me to actually show you guys uh, the rest of the rest of the island so um yeah so i'm as um whoops i'm assuming uh whoever watching at this point is uh those who actually completed this game all right um let's keep it hush hush i don't wanna spoil someone even if they continue to watch so i'm just gonna continue this through puzzle so 
The point of this puzzle is simply just to get from one point to another, in this case the end. Um, you can just simply draw a line using your trackpad or your mouse. It's pretty straightforward. Um, you might have used to do this as a child. You can go either up or go down, doesn't matter. Um, but matters is that you solve it. And if you heard that sound, that's the sound of that. Uh, you can press shift around. Uh, that's that. That uh, the middle section of that puzzle was just unlocked. Um, yeah. And yeah, so you can see that there's this black line uh, over here. So I need to unlock all three sections, and I'm gonna follow one of them first. And the first one goes right under this cable over here to this section over here. Now um, this puzzle is currently unavailable because it's waiting for something. We don't know that yet. So I'm just gonna. Oh, we do. Uh, it's just actually that same cable, Chris. Yeah, that's the same cable. I'm just gonna simply walk over and complete this puzzle as well. Uh, this one is pretty simple. I think this is meant to be played before the last one, but oh well. I I really wish I can just erase my memory of this game and be able to start all over again from scratch. I hope in the future that's something I can do because this game is so good. Now I wish to play it once again. But knowing, knowing science and how it works, I'm pretty sure that's not realistic. And this cable over here um, sort of skips through the that wall over there to the other side which is um whoops i'm dropping a lot of frames hopefully you guys i'm catching all this action action packed gameplay of me just walking through a garden and well this is one of the in more interesting puzzles now it doesn't look interesting it just looks like any other puzzle but you'll notice that there's actually two possible ends for this puzzle so in this case this is one of those puzzles that you have to sort of think through um the solution is like in at this point you can you can actually solve this puzzle and the game would let you solve that puzzle and you can actually hear a door open but if you notice that that's not the cable that we wanted to actually unlock right this is the cable we want to unlock so the game intentionally makes you skip the first solution because that's what the game wants us to do well in other words the game makes us go over the first solution because um, the game makes that intentional decision for us to, uh, to make our make up our mind to go the other way uh, this this speaks to a, a more of a more of a deeper rule this game is trying to teach you uh, the, the lesson this game is trying to teach you is that how to teach someone a lesson I'll talk more, more about that later but um, yeah uh, that's um, that's all I'm all the puzzles I'm gonna play for the day I don't wanna I don't wanna actually um, spoil any other puzzles in this game so that's why I'm just gonna oh hold on I guess I had to play one one last puzzles this one over here um, the one I just unlocked uh, this one is pretty straightforward as well I think um, don't know why this puzzle is here to be honest this is there's only one path you can take and there's no other options you can take um, this is one of the puzzles that doesn't really fit in my opinion but uh, I don't know uh, I think this is the first puzzle you meant to play and that's the second puzzle but you cannot play that without unlocking the third puzzle so this really makes sense um, all right so I've unlocked all the uh, all the gates here I can just unlock this and this divine gate um so just from up to all the way to the bottom um the path you take here doesn't really matter <coughs> hmm anyways um yeah so i've just unlocked the um the, the rest of the island so this is the game uh, this is the island i want to actually recreate in minecraft from scratch it's beautiful There's no music. It's just noise. Just white noise. Of trees. Ah, so calming. Um, yeah, it looks pretty beautiful. I'm dropping a lot of frames. Sorry about that. 
I'll try to run this um, this part of the game smoother if I have a better computer. Um, I'm just gonna take a peek. Um, yeah, so that's the town. Um, so we are essentially starting from the bottom. Oh, sorry, the south, the southern end of the island. Does that make sense? Um, so what I mean by southern is that my Mac is struggling. Um, so we just started over here and we just walked out towards the orchard um, and that's where we are. Uh, maybe that's where I might start off my actual series. So, <laughs> Ooh, for a second I thought it was creeper and then I realized I'm just playing the witness. There are no creepers. I am the creeper. Um, um, I'm not gonna move from this point onwards. Um, yeah, so that's the... Uh, that part of the island is the, my first attention, and that's gonna, what I'm going to be making. And I'll be playing the rest of the game as we go. So, I guess this is in a way um, a Let's Play series of both The Witness and Minecraft. I guess I can't go through, go to F5. Uh, so I'll join you guys in Minecraft. <laughs> 